and Crystal Shawanda here to talk about my album Church House Blues one track at a time. In case you missed it, what I'm doing is I'm going through my album one track at a time and I'm talking about the songwriters, the musicians, and stories from behind the scenes. Uh, if you missed the first few videos, I highly recommend you going back to go through them and give them a watch because you find out all kinds of fun stuff uh, that happened throughout the whole recording process. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm a little late with this video. I apologize for that because I've been really, really busy. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been working on pre-recorded, personalized pre-recorded shows. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, uh, we haven't toured since the pandemic began. Uh, we haven't gone out and played shows and we're musicians that's how we make our living so um so yeah that's pretty devastating <laughs> but uh we've been really busy with doing these shows uh, and we are so thankful to all our buyers all our clients out there who have been keeping us busy with these shows um we have been offered some opportunities to go and play music uh, but we felt the situations just weren't safe specifically for us because uh, you know it's me and my husband and our little girl in our little pandemic bubble <laughs> and we've been attached at the hip and it's just the three of us here in Nashville we don't have any family here so if either me or my husband were to get sick and had to be separated from our daughter it would be absolutely devastating for her I would think and just the idea of possibly putting her through that um, I just can't stand the idea of that so I don't want to take that risk and so I feel like this is the safest decision for us so um, thank you so much everybody for making it possible for us to keep making a living and providing for my family and playing music and staying engaged with my fans in a very safe way so thank you all so very much but that's what I've been busy with and we've also been busy already working on the new the next new blues album so we've been writing every day and doing pre-production every day and then on top of that we're chasing after our little three-year-old all around that she's always around us when we're working <laughs> so it's it's a lot you know um, but we're having the best time I keep saying that you know if I didn't have our little girl through this pandemic I would probably be going crazy right now she's the most beautiful distraction in the world <laughs> And so I try to be the best distraction for her because I can't imagine what this time has been like for her, you know, because she hasn't played with another kid since like March. So, I mean, like, what is that doing for her social development, you know? So every day I'm her friend. I get on the floor and I play with her all day long. And I mean, all you parents out there, I, I you, you get what I'm saying. You know, you're trying to entertain your kids as well as um, you know feed their brains and feed their hearts and their souls <laughs> and uh, so you know it's a, it's a lot so um, but uh, so I try to do that every day for because I want her to be as unaffected as possible so anyways blah 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 let's get on with it let's get to the next track the next track is number four rather be alone Rather Be Alone is a song that I wrote with my husband, D. Wayne Strobel. Uh, for those of you that don't know the background, D. Wayne is my husband, he's my guitar player, my producer, and the father of my little girl, <laughs> obviously. And uh, so we wrote this song together, and uh, we actually started writing this song a few albums ago. Um, I wrote the, I came up with the idea, the initial idea, and I recorded it in the voice memo of my phone. And so I brought it to him and he loved the idea. We started writing on it and we really got on a roll and we're, you know, coming up with some good stuff. And then all of a sudden we hit a wall and everything we started coming up with was really predictable and I didn't like that. So we halted, we put it away. And then fast forward, I got a new phone, completely forgot about all the songs on my old phone. And then just recently while we were working on this album, I refound my old phone and found that song, found this song and then brought it back to my husband and we started working on it again. We're like, oh yeah, that's right. And it was like almost instantly he came up with the idea for, you know, it's as it's building up, it gets really big vocally. And then we decided to kind of like take it back on the chorus, you know, so, um, and I love that idea. It was very unpredictable. <laughs> And so that's what we did and we were able to finish the song and it just fits so perfectly with this album This song is ultimately about that inner strength that every single one of us has 
but unfortunately we most of us don't know that we have it until we have our hearts completely broken <laughs> so um, you know sometimes when we are in a relationship when we're at the good part we think oh I you know if this person ever broke my heart I don't think I could ever get over it or move on and um, and so sometimes you end up putting up with stuff you normally wouldn't put up with you know and you let this person um, you know hurt you really bad and and then all of a sudden it's like one day it's like a switch goes off you know and all of a sudden you're just like you know what <laughs> if this is how you're gonna treat me then I would just rather be alone and so that's what this song is about is about tapping into that strength and realizing you deserve better and demanding better <laughs> so um, that's what the song is about we hope that you guys like it um, it's one of our favorites on the album I thought that I would share a kind of like our songwriting process we've been writing songs together for a long time uh, when me and D Wayne met 19 years ago we started playing music together in a band and then we started writing songs together and then we fell in love <laughs> so um, we've been writing together a long time and our dynamics it, it's always changing you know sometimes he comes up with the lyrics sometimes I do sometimes I come up with the melody and sometimes he does but if I come up with the melody first I always go to him because he's a better guitar player and he's always gonna make it better than what it was um, you know and being husband and wife yes sometimes we hurt each other's feelings we hurt each other's egos, our prides, and we pride and we get all sucky about it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we always come back around to what's important, and that's the song. What's the best decision for the song? And we always come back around and I'll be like, you know what, you were right, your idea was better. Or he'll come back around and he'll be like, you know what, your idea was better. Um, so that's kind of, I always like to think that we pick up where the other leaves off. So that's why we write so great together. Um, you know, before when we started out, we used to write every day, all day long, all the time. Um, now that we have a little toddler running around, little little girl, little three-year-old, <laughs> we have to we have to write in shifts. So an example of that is uh, sometimes, you know, in the morning when we're having breakfast, he'll be sitting there with the guitar and he'll play an idea that he's he's had. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I like that. Let's let's do that. And but maybe we'll do this and that. And then later on, I'll be playing outside with Jaja. And then I'll be like, I'll have an idea of the song that he, uh, the idea he came to me with. And then I'll record it on my voice memos on my phone. And then I'll email it to him. He's up in the studio working, so he takes my idea, adds it to the initial idea he started. And then uh, then we'll go for our exercise walk. And while we're walking, we'll talk about the ideas and we'll kind of bounce ideas back and forth. Of stuff that we're coming up with and then you know then at lunchtime when we sit down to eat he's sitting there we get the tar going through all the ideas that we've come up with thus far and so on and so forth throughout the day we'll do that all afternoon all evening so that's what I mean by we have to write in shifts <laughs> to get creative uh, we're uh, with our little girl and but we still need to get our work done and we managed to get it done our little girl is she's such a good baby she's such a sweet girl so um, sometimes you know like I'll be like hey uh, we're just gonna record this really quick so um, play with these toys and she'll be like okay <laughs> I like that easy so we're very fortunate in that way yeah so the musicians who worked on this song uh, the drummers was the drummer was Lewis Winfield who has toured with us for many many years uh, but now he mostly works in the studio and he's been working on a solo project of his a new album and putting together a new band uh, but we're always happy and excited when we get to jam with him in the studio and um, and then on bass we had Michael Deering who plays with the Stacy Mitchard band and they're just amazing if you ever have the chance to see them go see them they play at Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar a lot and when we would go out for a date night we used to love to go and watch them it was always an inspiring experience because they're just such a killer band you know uh, on keys is Peter keys <laughs> and he's he toured he plays music and tours with Leonard Skinner and we've been fortunate to have him on a lot of our past songs so we always love it when he jams out with us and um, the guitars were done by D Wayne and the backgrounds were done by me uh, like I said in one of my earlier videos I don't always like to do my own backgrounds because I love to collaborate with other singers and it's a learning experience for me. I get to clock into school and learn as much as I possibly can because I always pick amazing background singers. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, engineering this song was Ross Corrier and D. Wayne Strobel. I hope I said your name, last name right, Ross. Uh, this is our first time working with Ross and he did such an awesome job. We were so happy with the outcome. Uh, so yeah, so I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> so that was Rather Be Alone. I hope you guys like the song and we hope you guys are loving the album. If you haven't bought it yet, buy it today, stream it today, follow me on Spotify. My album is called Church House Blues. Um, add me to your playlist, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you like my vlogs, don't forget to hit the thumbs up when you watch these videos. If I get enough support on these vlogs, I'll continue doing them even after I'm done going through the album. <laughs> so I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you're all doing safe out there. Please take care and uh, yeah, peace out. <laughs> see you next time.